Hi, this is Martin Drummond with Progressive News. It's Sunday, September 15th, 2019. And what I wonder about is if you look at the progression of this war, uh, the Houthis or whoever in Yemen, uh, I think it's just the Houthis, but I'm not sure if there's other anti-Saudi Arabia groups. Anyway, the Houthis and uh, it's debatable as to whether they're uh, receiving smuggled missiles or not from Iran. Pompeo wants us to believe so, but he's a douchebag, so you can't really trust anything that he has to say. And, uh, you know, he offers no proof. Uh, so, if you look at the progression of this war, Saudi Arabia is losing, right? Because six months ago or a year or two ago the Yemenis started hitting them with missiles and stuff and every once in a while a uh, ground attack uh, some infantry battles on the ground but not not very often it doesn't seem like anybody wants to get out in that desert and fight I mean, you know there's no air conditioning but uh, seriously though then, you know, after that, there were drone attacks on airports and rocket, I guess, rocket attacks on airports. And now, you know, this. ...is to respond to recent drone attacks on its oil facilities. In a phone call with the U.S. President Donald Trump, Ms. Salman said Saudi Arabia is willing and able to deal with Saturday's drone strikes. Saudi-led coalition also said that it will take necessary measures to safeguard its interests and energy security. Meanwhile, the U.S. Secretary... Well, obviously not, right? I mean, it wouldn't have happened if they were... I mean, it's already happened. So they're not able to protect the, the oil. And as much as they, you know, they're all a bunch of fucking liars. I hate to say that, but when it comes to the media, you know, their media, they say they're going to have the oil back up and flowing in 48 hours. Well, maybe. I mean, they got to put out the fire first, and then they got to replace all the equipment. I doubt it. I mean, I'm just saying, I doubt it. But they're always going to put a the best face on it and then what's going to stop more drones from hitting you know and if it's a Ramco as they say you know they never mentioned a Ramco in any of the other things so a Ramco is Arabian American uh, oil company so it's the uh, you know part owned by by the way something you you should definitely know which is why I do these broadcasts is so progressives have a basic understanding of these things is that Saudi Arabia I believe the the agreement is that they uh, pay 75 percent of their profits to the American companies Aramco is what the five sisters or something the the oil companies that uh, and you know probably other ones that they give 75% of their profits and it was interesting that when we uh, were in Iraq the Iraqi government made the same deal and where this money goes I don't fucking know man you know it's not like they're gonna tell us And so, uh, but, but you, I can guarantee you it goes into everybody else's pocket but yours, right? 
so like 90% of it goes in as profits to the rich people uh, in the oil industry. So, you know, and, and if, if the citizens or even maybe the residents, because Saudi Arabia doesn't allow anybody else to become a citizen, only members of the Saudi families are allowed to be citizens. You find out that like three quarters of the people in Saudi Arabia are just there working. You know, Indians and Pakistanis and, well, mainly Pakistanis and, you know, Malaysians and Filipinos and, and, and they have a way of doing that that's nothing like the United States. You know, people don't just pour into the country and maybe look for a job, maybe not, whatever. In Saudi Arabia, they've got it specially set up so that the people coming to work come and then when it's time for them to leave, they leave. Uh, I can't say that I disagree with that, but there's a lot of other things that go on with that. Lots of abuse. I mean, this guy right here, Ben Salman, is a perfect example of what's wrong with Saudi Arabia. He's a very egotistical, arrogant person. He's got this fake persona of, uh, of being very kind, and, uh, and it's very fake. I mean, so fake that anybody watching his uh, mannerisms, they know. You know, this is a guy who... When you have no control and he has all the control, he's going to abuse that power, right? So, uh, I'm just saying that these strikes are becoming more and more uh, successful. Uh, they're... Uh, and I think they're going to continue to. I don't think that any amount of bombing, short of just scorched earth, the entire country, uh, probably including all the people there, not just the Houthis. And, and who's going to tolerate that? I mean, is the United States the people of the United States? Yeah, fucking... Ronnie Rump, you know, Ronald Reagan Trump. That's what he wants to be remembered as. You think that he's really going to give a shit? But the people in the United States, they can't, they can't stand... I mean, they may have to, but they're going to be very upset. Because I'm sure that they s say, you know, it's not up to us. A and, you know, Americans in Saudi Arabia, boy, would the Saudi Arabians love to get rid of the Americans in Saudi Arabia and get 100% of their oil profits? That's 75% they're losing. You know, all they'd have to do is say, hey, we don't really want you in our country. And it's only this small group of royal family. Uh, of course, royal doesn't mean anything. It means assholes who uh, buy arms from the United States and, and pay a, s a small group of their own people to uh, be thugs in the country. That's all that, that royal means, really. So anyway, so I see these, you know, maybe temporarily Saudi can bomb them. By the way, I heard the other day that there are American pilots flying for the Saudis, which makes them American, which makes it Americans who are doing the bombing, if it's true, you know. 
I mean, half of the Israeli Air Force is American. They just have dual citizenship. Yeah, you know, it's pretty pathetic what's going on. And I think it's going to become even more pathetic. Because I think the Houthis and maybe a few other countries in the in the region are really going to start making life difficult for the Saudis and anybody who helps them. I already heard that the United Arab em Emirates are like they're fighting with the Saudis, whereas they're supposed to be allies with the Saudis. Hmm, not so much, huh? So. So, you know, you see a lot of uh, media here, social media mainly, talking about resistance to uh, America's policy of supporting the Saudis. And you hear Bernie Sanders talking about, I don't think the Saudi Arabia is really an ally of the United States. And if he gets in, in well, that's liable to all change. And then what happens, you know? Could the Saudis flip-flop and become enemies of the United States? Maybe the, that's why the United States is looking to uh, Venezuela to take over that country and get their oil. It's probably, probably. of State has accused Iran of being behind the attacks. Mike Pompeo claims that there is no evidence to prove attacks were launched from Yemen. This is while Yemen's answer to the movement has claimed responsibility for the drone strikes. Attacks affected the kingdom's oil production and exports. The world's largest oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia and a major oil field operated by Saudi Aramco came under drone attacks on Saturday morning. You know, I mean, the obvious solution is solar, wind, uh, hydroelectric, lots more hydroelectric, uh, uh, geothermal, um, uh, for sure, for sure, why isn't the United States building, uh, uh, f fusion reactors? I mean, we're the most capable, well, we know why, because American people don't control energy policy in, com in this country, the oil companies do. And that's a real travesty, you know what I mean? A tragedy. I mean, that they can force their product upon us the way they do uh, without so much as pointing a gun at us, you know? I mean, they're not making America uh, stick on oil. They're just able to do it because Americans are so apathetic. So you know, I mean, we need to we need to do something about it. It's ridiculous. I mean, Americans themselves as individuals need to go out and buy solar panels and batteries and start trying to figure out how to uh limit the amount of electricity they use that's made from natural gas and coal and all these things. We really do. And for that, I suggest that you go and check out the uh, segments I do on, uh, or, or not segments I do, uh, the guy who I like, Well, that's not. 
what I was looking for. I mean, it's just something you can do if I can find them. And by the way, this is where all your news comes from. I pick out of all these people this great stuff. There he is. G.H.U. Garcia. This is the guy you want to go to to an Electra Porsche. Okay, he's done. Uh, and, you know, he's just a... He's no... Well, he is kind of a genius, but... Uh, not, not really, but... He's a normal guy. He doesn't have a PhD in electronics or anything. He just started getting into it. He built his own... Uh, it's a... VW bus. See this? So it's from a, a personal kind of point of view. From a guy who's learned just from doing. And he passes along everything that he he's learned. So that you, if you watch this stuff, you can figure out how to make uh, battery packs. Uh, how to hook up solar panels and, you know, and he tests a lot of the latest stuff. And he just talks about this stuff in better, in, in general, you know. So, it's really good stuff. A huge blaze engulfed the targeted positions and explosions could be heard from kilometers away. Yemen's Ansarullah movement and allied army forces claim responsibility for the attacks. The Ansarullah. Is that the Houthis? I don't know. Anyway, so back to the original story, and that's that I think that these attacks are going to get worse and worse. And that Saudi Arabia, what they said there about Saudi Arabia saying that uh, they have the ability to deal with it, maybe, but I, I think that that will end in the near future that it will become obvious that they don't have the ability to deal with it. And at that point, it's going to be a question of whether or not the United States or its allies come in to do the dirty work. I mean, they could literally bomb the shit out of them. But you know what? Can we bomb the whole world? You know, I mean, there's these groups all over the world and countries all over the world are we just gonna is that what we're gonna do okay because they don't like being uh, having American backed dictators so we're gonna bomb them all into oblivion I mean it's time to take a good hard look at how evil what we're doing is how many people we're killing, murdering, because it's murder in most cases, not not killing. I mean, you can kill people, and that's not evil, because it's just absolutely, uh, or did it absolutely have to happen? I mean, was there another way around it? You know, the only time that I can say for sure that there wasn't a, another way around it is when somebody's pointing a gun right at you and about to pull the trigger and you kill them. You know, it's kind of only in a split ins instance can you say for sure 
that you had to do it to defend yourself. But, you know, any other time, you can say, well, could I have said, okay, okay, let's talk, you know. Any time could have been averted. You know, the further away you get from that instant, the more likely it is that you murdered somebody. All right, well, this is Martin Drummond with Progressive News. Thanks for watching.